Thank you to the conference organizers for the opportunity to present this qualitative work exploring the risks for urban Rift Valley fever invasion car carried out in Kenya by me, Kelly Gherkin, and my colleagues listed here. So the Rift Valley fever virus is a zoonotic virus that can be transmitted by mosquitoes, but also directly to humans from infected livestock. And with this current distribution of exposure studies, it's been difficult to, to disentangle the role that consumption and handling of animal products has in transmission. But in a recent community survey at our two urban sites in Kenya, we found risk factors were independent of livestock ownership. And despite Rift Valley fever spread and introduction being really driven by animal movement, no urban outbreaks have ever been documented. So the main objective of this study was to explore potential pathways of introduction from the perspective of those that would likely experience it first and understand how they perceive their personal risk. So we carried out focus group discussions with these high-risk groups, which included slaughterhouse workers, livestock owners, and those people that purchase blood and animal products directly from the slaughterhouse for urban distribution. And this study generated a ton of data, but just to quickly highlight a few key points, livestock are still important for livelihoods, but with more of a focus on business opportunity. So there may be some disincentive to report. Animal products are also included in that business opportunity and are a less expensive way to consume animal protein. Blood was not just used for making sausage, but was also consumed by um, pregnant women and people with low iron, raw directly from the slaughterhouse. And then we also found that grazers arrived near our site seasonally coming from hotspots like Caggiato and Garissa. And some had livestock uh, owners that were already having mitigation efforts in place, such as removing ticks from their animals after they grazed with those animals. All of the groups, particularly at the slaughterhouse, perceived risk of zoonotic transmission to be heavily focused on hygiene, which was perceived as far superior to rural areas and the vet's postmortem exam also made them feel that the animal products and meat must be safe. And then lastly, many participants had prior experience with disease mitigation efforts and highlighted that slaughterhouse bans are indeed devastating for them. And then on the coast, in the last outbreak, they knew that Rift Valley fever was in the county, but wasn't really seen as an urban threat. So in conclusion, we've highlighted that urban risk is different than rural risk, so may require different public health messaging, and um, efforts to stop introduction. The high reliance on vets in connection with risk and safety means that we must give rural, give pardon, urban vets more tools and diagnostic support because the current focus on hygiene and the post-mortem exam is an opportunity for Rift Valley fever. So we're currently exploring how we may even leverage that gap and test milk and slaughtered animal blood for Rift Valley fever to improve early detection. So thank you so much for listening to my talk. Please contact me if you wanna hear more.